Okay, so I thought I would do a little recording about preparing for backpacking. Um, so not only do you have to worry about equipment and um, food and essentially just prepping gear, but you also have to worry about leaving the house for several days and what that entails. And um, I don't know, I just thought it might be helpful. So we are headed to the North Cascades this evening. It's supposed to be beautiful. So um, we, I got the permits probably in March or April when uh, the North Cascades releases their permits for the public. And essentially I'll do my whole summer backpack planning and just plug in for permits all at once um, just because you can't do that kind of thing last minute. Maybe I'll do another video on that eventually. But um, anyways, I just thought I'd capture a little bit of footage of we have, we're just taking out the recycling, the garbage, the compost. We're cleaning out the fridge, making sure that none of the leftovers are going to go bad, making sure that food's all set up. So we like fresh food, produce. Um, we'll also use backpacking food, but we have a bunch of produce in here. So what I'm doing is just bagging up um, some of the produce that we have. All right, we're going to start this experience. So, uh, it's been a day already, and we're getting a very late start. That's how it goes sometimes. Um, we are going to pack our bags. It's just a two-night trip in the Northern Cascades, and just thought I would pack and have this recording to give some folks an idea of how it really looks. This is our process. We bring both our bags out, we shove all our stuff in the middle, and then we just start separating it, and then we figure out weight as we go. Okay, so let's see and talk about what I've been doing. So we have this separated now. All right, so what I've been doing is separating. This is my pack. I've got um, my pillow, sleeping bag, uh, chair, whistle, uh, all-in-one, illumination, first aid kit. And then this is Adam's pack, sleeping bag, pillow, chair, first aid, illumination, and I'm missing his knife and his whistle. So I need to make note of that and go and find it. And this this is why we do it this way is because it's a good visual. And then the stuff in the center is like the mutual use. And then we figure out as we start packing how to separate that out. And then we still have food. But it looks like I need to find a flashlight and uh, his shovel or my shovel because his shovel sucks. Um... And I'll show the separation of food in a little bit. Okay, so uh, it's always quite a haul to pack, honestly. Um, so it looks like we're missing a few things. We, um, uh, we're missing a good shovel. This is a POS. So that sucks. Um, but, alright, some things that I just did that I did not capture. I went and um, we checked our illumination and um, Adam checks the batteries just to make sure it's full. Um, I also noticed some things were missing and I'll show you what we just found and what I did. So I am bringing my platypus um, gravity water filter because we're gonna have good water sources and it's a two day. On a one day, I don't always bring it, but on a two night, I definitely bring it. We have uh, Ross Lake and a few creeks to, that we can fill up on. Adam found his knife. I'm gonna bring a bug net just in case. Adam's gonna check to see if they have batteries. 
Um, I filled up the water uh, hydration packs and they're in the fridge. And I like to start packing our bags with the water in it, otherwise it's a nightmare to get the water in the bag if it's already packed. You basically have to take everything out and start fresh. Lessons we've learned. So this is how we decide our food. Um, we do one day, we've got these each are one serving and then we're gonna have that with it. Um, we have a breakfast. We have just a mixture of different snacks um, and this isn't the end, I'm gonna add a few more to it. We have a dessert in case we want it, liquid hydration, and then another day of dinner and breakfast. We usually only do two meals per day, not three, just because we find that we don't stop and cook three times. Um, it's just a little much. Um, but I also have fresh foods that we'll be adding to this mix after. We'll, we'll put it in the cooler tonight, and then right before we head out on the hike, we'll take it out of the cooler and add it to our packs. Um, I usually bring a little bit of sweet stuff, too. So Adam's going to run to REI and go get a shovel because we remembered that we lost mine, which is the good one, in Alaska. Fell off my backpack in the airport, he says. I don't know if I believe him. Um, and we're getting the bear spray because we're going to be in Northern Cascades. I'm going to pack all the food in the bear canister. Uh... These are the backpacking silverware we use. We like it. They're long to fit in the bags because we do it very simple when we backpack, if it's a short trip anyways. Um, we just eat right out of the bag and we share a bag. We don't bring pots and pans. We don't bring um, bowls. We literally just bring the jet boil. But these are nice because they reach long down in and I think Adam got these on Amazon. to packing the bag is putting the heaviest stuff closest to your back and um, the lighter stuff and like not in the very bottom and not right on top at least that's how I feel like I was taught and learned um, yeah it's always it's kind of a bit of Tetris you know the first the first few ways you pack it might not be right but you just gotta start somewhere so I'm working with, I don't remember how many liters mine is, I think it's a 40 liter, 45 liter, and that's probably with the brain, which is this right here, at least that's what I call it, um, and Adam's working with 60, so he's just getting enough with more weight, that's how that goes. <laughs> It's perfect for backpacking. So, that's not bad. Now I just work on all the little stuff. 
So I, it's always hard because I always want to bring a book. So I'm going to bring this book. It's the Enneagram. I've been pretty excited for it to come. I have an Enneagram number and uh, I don't know. It's just something to do in the morning or at night uh, if you have a lot of time in camp, which we don't always, but I think we will. You know what? I'm going to put my book in a bag just because, I don't know, I just like to be really cautious and prepared. What if my pack, actually, what if I fall in the freaking lake for some reason? I don't know. Alright, so then, I don't know, we don't always pack these. We like to pack some kinds of wipes. Um, they have these really nice ones that are like biodegradable and I just feel better about the environment but I don't know this is what we have right now so this is what we're gonna pack definitely one of the most important things is having like a real hikers map like you need a map always. I don't have a list of the 10 essentials right now. I I know, like, I support it, but I don't always remember every single thing, but I'm pretty sure we always have the 10 essentials. I will have to check on that and confirm if we're being good, uh, safe, secure packers, hikers right now or not, but I'm pretty sure we are. So um, we're going to the North Cascades. I love these maps. These are just much more detailed and it's important for checking your water sources and know what's in for no. I put my whistle around the strap because I just, uh, so like it's easily accessible and like hanging right here if I need it. We usually do two first aid kits because sometimes when we're preparing, um, no, because each first aid kit has slight variation. I did it that way so that we would each carry something and like uh, if we got isolated we'd have enough on our own or like isolated separated we'd have enough on our own in case we need something but then they just have different things that can complement them. So honestly, we do so much preparation in advance. I don't even check, well, I do check, but I don't pack these each time. We just, we usually have everything like packed and ready to go. We like to put things away properly or spend time doing things like that. I feel like I packed a lot of stuff in mine, but that makes up for this, which is pretty heavy. But honestly, I think I might've given Adam too much of a break. He's going to be carrying my clothes, that's for sure. Adam's pack is different than mine. His has one of these separators in it. I don't think I like them. Another quick thing I thought of is when you're really being bear safe, even things like cleaning wipes, um, toiletry items, um, all of that stuff is potent and may attract a bear. And if we were in grizzly country, we would be a lot more cautious about it. Um, 
it takes a lot of work and effort. Um, but we have typically been fine, like doing our products, like bug spray, Clorox wipes, um, Kleenex, uh, cleaning wipes, um, anything that might have a fragrance to it, which is so much more than you like realize. Well, that should all be like bear tight, bear safe canisters or bags or whatnot. We're working on being better. We will adjust this so that it's not, you want it to be accessible and easy to pull out if you actually see a bear. Having it in a bag tucked away and all this is not helpful. Alright, so we are doing our last minute packing because we are at the Lake Diablo Overlook. We just had lunch and yeah, so let's get it going. We'll film. Also, I do want to verify that I got a larger bear canister. The uh, North Cascades Wilderness Information Center is renting them out. And um, I just, I did confirm that grizzlies haven't really been detected in North Cascades since 1996. So it's pretty safe to say that there's not really a, a like a, I don't know, like a functioning whatever there's not really grizzlies expected to be in this area but they have been detected on the canadian side so i'd rather be safe and i don't want to attract any kind of bears anyways so we're just going to use the larger bear vault that they uh, provided to us for free and then we might even use ours um, because you do want to also do your garbage in a bear canister and things like that or like a bear safe whatever um yeah, so here we go.
well, we might displace some of his weight into mine. And just like that, I'm at 33. Point, what did I say? Four. And Adam is at 38. 8.8 .8 or something? Something like that. 